In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Passport to Advanced Math Concepts. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section 4, Calculator Permitted, problem 28. And this is a grid in. The xy plane above shows one of the two points of intersection of the graphs of a linear function and a quadratic function. The shown point of intersection has coordinates v, w. If the vertex of the graph of the quadratic function is at 419, what is the value of v? So we have a line. We have a quadratic. We're told that the intersected VW, we have to solve for V. We're also given the vertex of the quadratic, and we're given two points on the line. We need the equations of both lines. So let's start, or both functions. Let's start with the line. Here we have two coordinate points, so we can just use the formula for slope. So we have 2, negative 1, and we have 0, negative 9. So the formula for slope is the change in y over the change in x. So the change of the two y's, so we go this way, that would be negative 1 minus negative 9, which is plus 9. And then 2 minus 0, that's going to be 8 over 2. The slope is 4. And so this equation of the line is going to be y equals 4x. We're also given here the y-intercept. And so that is the equation of the line. Now we have to find the equation of the quadratic. Once we do, we set them equal, and then we can solve for the intersection. That would be the solution. All we're given here is two points, one of which is the vertex. You have to know the vertex form of a quadratic. You just have to remember this formula, and I'll just rewrite it for review. It's y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are the x and y coordinates respectively of the vertex. So let's just plug those points in. So we have y equals a times x and it's minus 4 just to review because this is plus 4. It's really the opposite sign inside the brackets. If this were negative 4 it would be plus but it's minus because it's plus and this is going to be this is consistent with the sign it's 19. How do we find the a? Remember we're given another point here on the function. Any coordinate point that lies in the function will satisfy the equation. So we just plug in this point and then we can find a. So it's going to be for y we're going to plug in 3. We're solving for a. Our x is 0 so this is going to be 0 minus 4. It's just going to be minus 4 squared plus 19 and so we end up with 3 equals 16 a plus 19. I'm going to subtract 19 from both sides, so I get 16a equals negative 16, and a equals negative 1. And so now we can write out our full equation. You, again, you can't just assume this is always going to be 1 or negative 1. I mean, it was negative 1 here, but you really have to plug it in to make sure. So the equation for the quadratic, remember here it is, but I'm just going to put the negative in. It's going to be y equals negative x minus 4 squared plus 19. This is the equation and now I just set them equal. So lots of steps for this problem. Alright, so I'm just going to write both equations down here. So the line, remember they're both equal to y, so the line is 4x minus 9 equals the quadratic which is minus x minus 4 squared plus 19. So here I'm going to multiply this out. I know there's a negative sign, but let's just um, distribute this. It's going to be x squared minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x. It's going to be plus 16. Remember this is all times negative. So this is going to be negative x squared plus 8x minus 16 and this is plus 19. All right. And so just a few more steps here. Let's bring this down. I will bring this to the right or to the left side, so that's going to be x squared. Bring this over, so that's going to be negative 4x or negative 8x. It's going to be negative 4x total. Those two. This is going to be if we add these both together, we get um, positive 3, but then we're going to subtract, so we get minus 12. So here's our equation. And the last step is we have to factor. We've got to find two factors of 12 where the sum is negative 4. So it's going to be x minus 6 
and x plus 2. So the solutions are 6 and negative 2. So let's go back up. Remember, 6 and negative 2, the two solutions for the intersections. And here's the original function. It intersects here. And if we were to sketch it out, it would intersect here as well. And so just keep in mind, the last step, we, had, we know that the solutions are 6 and negative 2. This v here is positive because it's to the right of the y-axis. So this one here is 6. Down here, the x would be negative 2. This is a grid in, and the answer is 6.